What's going on guys, Multiple HD here, as most of you guys probably already know. So guys, in this video today, I'm going to be talking about nothing really gaming related, and I kind of just want to go ahead and get a couple things off my head, and explain to you why I have a disliking in cops after a couple recent situations, really. So, usually I've never had a problem with cops. You know, you have a lot of these videos going across the internet a lot of the time saying that... They've done corrupt things, and you watch the video, and they're doing something which is really... Sometimes they are just being corrupt, but most of the time it's just them doing something that the camera didn't catch before, and they try blaming it on the cop. And that's typically what all the YouTube videos are. They catch them in a bad moment, they don't show what caused that bad moment before, and then you just have the bad impression on the cop. Well, as of recent... I've kind of had a little bit of a bad taste in a lot of cops around me and in general. So really this all started in September when I ended up getting a new car. Now some of you guys are probably going to be interested in what car I have so I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a rundown because it's not going to make much sense later on once I get into another point. So I have a 1993 Firebird Formula Trans Am. Now you guys may say, what does that exactly mean? I'll go ahead and post a picture of it right now on the screen for you guys. And this is what it means. It's a very, very high powerful car compared to a lot of other cars on the street. A car that was built completely for speed and doing performance work on tracks. I mean, it's a car that you could drive on the street normal, have no problems. You could take it to the track and you could do very well against other people that have been spending months building up their car. And you don't have to do anything from its stock, but if you do go above stock, you get even better results usually. So this car was pretty much influenced by the Trans Am series in the 90s. In the 90s, there was a lot of sponsored events by Trans Am. They were a very, very good racing team in general. For example, if you think of racing like Formula One, you think of Ferrari. Well, Trans Ams, you think of the same kind of thing, just in a different series of racing. So even for my car to be coming out of the factory, it has more horsepower than a lot of cars even today can even keep up in standards. For example, my car had like 350 horsepower stock, and any upgrades, like I said, above that, it goes up exponentially higher. I mean, you go put up a chip in it, and you're instantly 50 to 70 horsepower more. So it's a very fast car to say the least. Now, as soon as I got this car, my car has straight pipes on it, which means it has a very, very much higher exhaust noise than the stock factory ones. And typically, as a cop, they do not like straight pipes. And one of the downsides with straight pipes is you can usually hear them because of them being so loud, you can hear them about two to three miles away. Well, one of the cops apparently heard me and my dad. My dad also has a sports car. I'll post a picture of that on the screen right now. He has this car, as you guys can see, and I was driving my car, as you can see right here. So you guys can see the two cars. We were driving back. We were having been, um, I don't remember what we were exactly doing that night, but we were just driving around. Now, if you see two of these fast cars, the idea in the mind of a cop is, oh, wow, two fast cars. You don't usually see these cars in my neighborhood. Well, let's go ahead and follow them and see what they're doing. And we just so happen to be heading to a two-lane highway on the way back. So if you see these two fast cars like you guys seen on the screen, they automatically think that you're heading to race. So we started driving. We are just heading back normal, going the speed limit, not doing anything. And they saw a loud car and another car that looks really fast go by that's also turbo so you hear the turbo in it so we get on the bridge get ready to head on the highway and I look back and there's two cars going about 70 to 80 miles per hour flying up behind us and I'm thinking yeah it's just some other random guy just maybe running late whatever the case is to work it's about to be the third shift you know it's late at night so early morning so you know it's a potentially just somebody else you know just trying to make up some time so we end up just driving like normal and we look back again and there's a second and a third car. There was three cops following us on the highway and pretty much just going an inch away from both of our bumpers and followed us for about 30 minutes. Now here's the real kicker to it. We pulled off because I was aware that they were behind us after I seen somebody flying up. I knew that there was either going to be somebody running late or there was going to be a cop. It was a cop, and I knew it because I saw the headlights of the sirens underneath the street light, and I instantly knew they were all three cops. So, we're just driving normally, and we end up pulling off. We were going to go eat at Denny's or something, so we end up pulling over into Denny's, and as soon as we do, we decide, hey, you know, it's kind of late. Let's just go ahead and go home. We'll get something at home whenever we get home. So, 
we end up going back on the road and there's three cops in both directions waiting on us to pull out. So at this point, I just see that they're just profiling both of us. They're probably running our plates. They probably already know the plate numbers because they were going about 100 behind us. They catch up just to see our plates. And we just ended up driving home normal. They chased us for like 45 minutes just going the speed limit. Went completely out of their jurisdiction, which is against the law for them to even pull us over if they would have out of the jurisdiction. And here's the real kicker to it. I got to thinking about this. So for them to follow us, they had six people in total. If they're getting an average of $10 an hour and they spent an hour chasing us, not even really chasing, but just following us, and they had the entire pretty much police force that night just tailing us, they ended up spending about $60 to get back to our house. And on the way back, they probably spent another 30 to 40 miles going back, depending on which roads they took. Which is another 60 so they spent about $120, and that's not including fuel, just to follow us because they saw two fast cars heading back. This is my first experience with cops doing something that they shouldn't be doing, and there's a potential for some corrupt cops out there, and I definitely think that night was definitely one of them. They may have had an alert saying that they heard one of these cars fast or whatever, and they saw our two cars doing something, I don't know. But that is the first run-in with cops I had a not-so-positive experience with. And before you guys say I just hate cops in general, that's not the case because my dad growing up for like five or six years was a cop, so I used to really like him. You know, my dad used to have him over for dinner all the time, he was best friends with a lot of them, and over time that just kind of fell apart or whatever, a lot of them left, and now it's filled with new guys that nobody knows about. And this is what they've been doing. So on Friday... I had another experience with cops and let me go ahead and say what this one did. So we had to go get a part for my Trans Am that was about 45 minutes away from my current town so we had to drive almost across the entire state to go get a certain part for my car which I needed regardless. So we're sitting outside of AutoZone, we just ended up finishing it, we're putting on the seat belts. we're about to take off. I ended up firing up the Trans Am, you know, we're getting ready to hit the street and drive on back or to another place to see if they had the part because AutoZone didn't have it, so we had to drive a little bit longer, and we hear sirens. So I'm about to pull out, right, and there's a two-way small street that the speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Now, if you've ever been to a large city, you know that a majority of the time there's a lot of people walking around. Most of them have iPods in, they're listening to their music, they have iPhones, they're doing something, they're messing on their phone, walking down the street, walking home. And that's all right. Well, here's one of the problems that we ended up experiencing, and we had a couple people see this also. So we're sitting there, we hear the sirens, and the red light is causing a lot of people not to move, and we hear the sirens getting closer and closer and closer. I look over to my left, and there's a cop going through a neighborhood that the speed limit is 30 miles per hour, at 110 miles per hour, doesn't even stop at the red light, doesn't even slow down, just goes darting through. There was two kids almost hit by this cop car going 110 miles an hour. And the first words out of my dad's mouth, who used to be a former cop, was gun it, chase that guy down. So I pull out of there, I'm doing a burnout, there's a huge cloud of smoke behind the cop car, there's a smoke cloud behind me for my tires burning, and we start chasing the cop. Well, I don't know what happened to the cop. He was just driving down the middle lane at about 130 when we ended up letting go. But this just shows why I just don't have any good faith in cops anymore for the majority. So let me go ahead and explain what he just did. If there was a robbery in progress, his logic was get there as fast as humanly possible. So he's going 110 through a neighborhood that has kids let out of school they're walking across the street with their iPods in, probably can't even hear the cop sirens if they, you know, aren't paying attention, don't look across the street. Maybe look and then they don't realize that there's a car going in at 110 miles an hour, and they're walking across the street. Well, as soon as they got to the other side, the cop goes flying by, so if they were just a couple seconds slower, they probably would have been hit by a cop. Now, the cop's logic was, get there as fast as I can. Well, the thing that he wasn't realizing is, he was going through a 30 mile per hour speed limit zone so most kids that were walking across the street were thinking you know there's cars coming at 30 miles per hour I have time to get across the street they aren't expecting somebody going almost 120 miles an hour through a red light 
coming at him like that when there's a cloud of smoke behind the car and dust because of how fast he's going. So the cop almost ended up killing two people just to go to a robbery, which we found out, that was a false alarm. So the logic was, let's get there so nobody else gets killed, but kill two to three people on the way. It almost just seems like from my experiences, maybe it's just in Ohio that I'm experiencing this, but it seems like the cops think they're above the law anymore, and that really is bad to think that, because now you have cops going 120 miles an hour through a metropolitan area, and it seems like they don't care at all in general anymore. So, like I said, this is just my experience with cops. I think that there are some good cops out there that don't do this, but in general, my experience over the last year, year and a half, it just hasn't been so positive in general. So anyways, that's just my thoughts, like I was saying. I hope that you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I just see the logic of a cop going 120 mile an hour through a stop sign, through a red light, through a neighborhood that has school kids walking down the street and kids crossing the street and you go through at 120 miles per hour no matter what they're doing, no matter how important it is, it's not worth killing five people on your way just to go and save one person or whatever the case is in general. But anyways, that is my opinions, that's my thoughts on cops recently. I just wanted to go ahead and share this with you because I want to go ahead and keep this as a commentary vlog that I can go ahead and go back to later if I want to watch and just have a little reminder there and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys could hit the like button, it really does help me a lot. I'm Multi Kills HD and I'm out. Peace.